So is Meghan Markle gonna let Harry see his grandma this year? That's what the video will be about. So I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. I am Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with. Journeys into the Light has asked this question, and she wants to know, is it Megan who's blocking uh, Harry from seeing his grandma? So uh, we'll look at that, we'll ask that question, and uh, hopefully we'll get an answer that we can all live with. Okay, so the question is, Journeys into the Light, thank you for asking, is uh, will uh, Meghan Markle, Duchess of Sus Sussex, let Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, see his grandma this year? Okay. Will Meghan Markle let Harry see his grandma? I guess that's assuming that she's stopping him from seeing his grandma. So interesting question to put it like that, but that's how it was asked. So will Meghan Markle let Harry see the Queen this year? Is it in her hands even? So let's see how the cards deal with that question. Will Meghan Markle let him see his grandma this year? And before we do that, meditation. Will Meghan Markle let Harry see his grandmother this year? Not will he see his grandmother, will Meghan Markle let him see it? So let's see how the cards deal with this. This is a very specific uh, question, and um, it'll be interesting to see how this pans out. Will Meghan Markle let Harry see his grandmother this year? That's assuming that she's stopping him from doing it. So six cards. One, two, three, four, five. And six. Will the Duchess let the Duke see his grandma? Okay. The signifier for this question, will Megan let Harry see grandma? This is the Knight of Swords. Okay. And it's called here in this deck, the Lord of the Winds and Breezes. Uh, swords are associated with air. Uh, swords are truth, justice, rules, and law. The Knight fights for that uh, in the Royal Court. And so the signifier of this is the Knight Fighting for truth, justice, rules, and law. Signifier. We'll Megan let Harry see Grandma. The um, challenge to this is the Hermit. Of course it is. Okay, so the Hermit is, um, and here it's called the Magus of the Voice of Light. The, ma the Magician of the Voice of Light. Okay, shining a light on something. Hearing uh, that voice in the darkness. Being the Magician that makes it happen. And that's the challenge to this, the Hermit. And the Hermit is always the one who's going to be very careful, very cautious about making a step forward to make sure he puts his foot right, he can see the path going ahead. So will Megan let Harry see Grandma? Well, we have truth, justice, rules, and law. This feels like Harry to me, this knight uh, carrying that his, his truth, his justice his rules and the challenge to it is this hermit really being very careful about that next step forward the base of this reading then is the last judgment the spirit of the primal fire the spirit of the primal fire judgment i hate to say this it is the base of the reading and so this makes this makes me think when it says the final judgment it makes me think of death you know and uh, and maybe that uh, is the base of this uh, i don't know this could mean that uh, at the moment that she's passing, that they know that she's uh, not going to go much further. Maybe that's when Harry comes over, or maybe just the end itself is when he comes over. Interesting. The past of this reading is the moon. Secrets being revealed. Perfect cards for this question. And it's, this is called the ruler of flux and reflux. Flux and reflux. So the moon is secrets being revealed. It's in the past. And so this is um, saying to me that we've had lots of secrets, lots of things that uh, need to come out into the light in the past. In the sky of this reading, we have the Three of Cups, which is here is called the Lord of Abundance. And the Three of Cups, Cups are passion, compassion, celebrations. The Three of Cups is typically uh, a group celebration 
interesting. Group celebration in the sky, last judgment uh, at the base of this. This is sounding more like it would be a funeral. And then the um, let the for the first part of this will Megan let Harry see Granny as the Seven of Pentacles, the Lord of Success unfulfilled. The uh, Seven of Pentacles is always wondering, have I done enough? You may remember from the Rider Waite decks, this is someone looking back at a bush with Seven Pentacles growing on it, and they're kind of wondering, well, have I done enough? Is there more I should do? And that's the perfect um, end for this part of this reading, wondering, has enough been done? In other words, did they wait too long for Harry to come see his grandma? Uh, should they push harder for him to come see her? So it's a couple of ways you could look at that. But let's get the last four cards and see what uh, light they can shed. So will Megan let Harry see Granny? And that's how he refers to her, I understand, Granny, which is very sweet. So will Megan let Harry see Granny? It's assuming that she's stopping him from seeing him, which I take... Uh, not my question, someone else's question. Thank you, Journeys, for the question anyway. Uh, the signifier of that question, uh, then, is the King of Cups, the Prince of the Chariot of Waters. You know, Cups and Waters are emotion, compassion, uh, Prince of the Chariot, moving forward. Prince uh, certainly fits Harry. Um, the signifier of this question, the King of Cups, this is Harry, then. Lots of emotion about, about his grandmother. The uh, challenge to that, then is uh, the Nine of Cups, the Lord of Material Happiness. And we uh, refer to the Nine of Cups, again, Cups are Compassion Emotion, Lord of Eternal Happiness. This is um, wishes being fulfilled. Um, so that's the environment that this is in. He wants to be, uh, uh, you know, within touching distance of his granny, I would say. This is so, so far about Harry here. The uh, hopes and the fears for this. The Lord of Swiftness, the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands are things, uh, wands are actions, uh, forward movement, uh, plans. And the Eight of Wands typically is speaking to us about a lot of things happening at the same time. So this could be a very busy time or there's a lot of plans to get sorted out uh, for this to happen. And then the um, likely outcome of the whole thing, will Megan let Harry see Granny, is his Three of Wands, Lord of Established Strength. Again, wands are plans, actions, forward movement. Three of Wands is our long-term plans. So it looks like um, there's some plan, there's some path uh, being thought of or being prepared towards this. So I like that. We'll go over it again. Will Harry, will Megan let Harry see Granny? Is uh, we start out with the Knight of Swords, the Fighter of Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. For me, this is Harry. And the uh, challenge to it is the Hermit really making sure you know where you're going before you take a step. That's appropriate. The base of this reading is the Last Judgment. It's a judgment card. It just makes me think of the end when we are called home to be judged. And that's kind of what we're talking about before that happens. And then the past in this reading is the moon, secrets being revealed. And that's what this whole problem is, is the secret of how that monarchy works on the inside uh, in a fashion that uh, the Sussexes didn't find uh, accommodating. And then the sky of this reading is the Three of Cups, which is working together towards some compassionate uh, goal. And then the likely outcome of the first part of this with this Seven of Pentacles is wondering if I've done enough, is there more to be done? The uh, very self of that question right here with the King of Cups, this again, for uh, and it's the Prince of the Chariot of Waters. And so for me, this is Harry, the Prince of the Emotion of, in the Chariot of uh, Water, very emotional situation. And it's in the environment of this Nine of Cups, which is um, uh, material happiness, Lord of Material Happiness, uh, more uh emotion. Uh, the hopes and the fears for that then with this eight of wands is all the issues that have to be sorted out uh, for this to be reality for this couple. And then the likely outcome of the whole thing are three of wands, long-term plans. So something's being thought of, something's being planned out, something's being considered along those uh, routes. And thank you, Journeys, for that question. That was very good. Did you think it was going to be that? I, I don't know that that's the uh, the answer I thought was going to come out. But uh, let me know in the in the uh, comments below uh, how you feel about that and what other questions you'd like me to ask. I'm glad to do it. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. So the Hermetic Tarot, based on the esoteric workings of the Secret Order of the Golden Dawn by Godfrey Dowson. These are U.S. Game Systems cards. And these cards are, I consider them kind of severe. They're a black and white deck. Uh, and they, they're really loaded with symbolism. So for me, sometimes that can kind of get in the way. But uh, on the other hand, it gives you lots to uh, work with as far as dividing the cards. 
the uh, uh, little guidebook that comes with them is, um, you know, it's a little small. You can read them, but it gives you very useful interpretations of the cards. And if you're going to use these cards, I would say take some time to just read through this and know what you're talking about. Um, these cards, though, I mean, look at this. What happened here, the Golden Dawn would encourage their members to design cards that meant uh, something in particular to them. And so these are one of the uh, um, surviving uh, works. Um, you can see that uh, if you're going to take them just at their face, they tell you how to read the cards. But if you're just going to take them for what a traditional Eight of Cups is, then you have Clear symbolism if you look at it, but some of these can really take a minute for you to, uh, you know, interpret what all of the symbolism in here means. And there's everything in here. There's astrology, um, numerology. I mean, it, they're very thorough cards. Uh, I only use them uh, when I have kind of a severe subject or, or person that I want to uh, read on. So I like to spread these out so that you get a chance to see what uh, different cards look like in case you don't collect cards or you don't get to see full decks of tar tarot cards all the time. I've got a ton of decks of tarot cards. I don't know. i got to get a rain on this, I think. But uh, the Hermetic Tarot are very interesting uh, cards to use. Well, I'm Mark. This has been My Journey Through Tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go, so stop on by. Ciao for now. really make a big difference. Thank you.